Bangalore or Bengaluru is pretty much the hipster capital of India. With new places opening up almost every month, one of my favorite things to do is browse the city for wonderful gorgeous new places which serve delicious food and drinks. In this episode, I'm taking you to a new favorite bakery in town, a stunning new concept from the best chai experts, and finally a restaurant that could easily be a photoshoot studio. So, if you want to see them all, make sure to keep on watching until the end. and I've been living in Bangalore for four years. Right before the pandemic started, my friend Neha introduced me to the Theo Broma Bakery in Mumbai. I was absolutely smitten by their lemon tart and I have been dreaming about Theo Broma ever since the pandemic started because I haven't been back to Mumbai. Now Theo Broma has also opened in Bangalore and I am so happy so i went a little bit all out <laughs> because i'm hungry i have a paneer tikka wrap in front of me which looks massive then i have a strawberry tart after that lemon tart i wanted to try more tarts because it is strawberry season here in india and i'm so happy about that and then i saw this drink which normally you wouldn't be able to find in these kind of places i really like it it looks like a classic peach flavored iced tea and i'm also excited to try that this all cost me 457 rupees, which I think is extremely reasonable looking at the ambiance that we're sitting in. This place is so, so pretty. It reminds me actually of La Dorée uh, back in Paris. And it also gives off that vibe with all of the pastries and everything. This is actually almost a La Dorée color. I think La Dorée is just a little bit lighter. So yeah, the ambiance is just so incredibly pretty. They really take care of the hygiene and yeah, from my memory, the food is really good. So I'm actually going to start with that paneer tikka wrap. I want to take a big bite of that because I am hungry. Ooh, this wrap looks really yummy. Loaded with a chunk of paneer here, some good veggies here. I love, love, love it when the ratio between the paneer and the veggies is on point. And I think that's the case with this one. The wrap is quite thin, as you can see it's not a thick like roti wrap it's more of um how do you say that it's, it's more of a pita wrap ish yeah let me take a bite of this that's good the ratio of veggies paneer optimal i would say by the way i have a challenge for you guys today i'm filming with my professional camera and i'm filming with my new iphone 13 pro max i want to challenge you to see if you can see the difference between the iphone and between the professional camera if you see some shots which you think are 100 percent made with iphone let me know down in the comments below because i want to see like if this could work out, if I could be vlogging with my iPhone 13 Pro Max only. I'm very excited about the quality. So yeah, we'll be testing that out in this vlog as well. <laughs> that paneer wrap is definitely a great start of my day and something that you should try. Now moving on to the strawberry tart. This looks amazing and I just, man, I am still dreaming about that lemon tart, but I just wanted to try something new. And because it's strawberry season, I thought this is a great one. Let's see. I have a big bite here with an amazing strawberry. See that? Yum. Oh my god. You might get one to go. It's so good. The pastry is flaky, not crunchy, which sometimes it's very annoying with a tart if it's like if the shell is too crunchy. I really, really don't like that. Then the cream. So soft, so velvety, not eggy, very important. And then the strawberries are perfect. I have to take another bite of this. It's just yum. Mm. 
it's just perfection. If the strawberries are still in season when you're watching this, run. Run to Theobroma and have the strawberry tart. Oh my gosh, this, this is already the highlight of my day. It's so freaking good. I'm gonna try that iced tea, but to be honest, after that strawberry tart, <laughs> my experience is already made. <gasps> that is so good. I think I'm gonna be coming back here a lot. Oh yum. I don't think I had a peach tea, peach iced tea in a, such a long time because I always find them like too sweet. This one is not too sweet. Guys, I'm having the best morning here. This view is amazing. I love how open the space is. I love how you can see all of the pastries on display and not just on the menu. I love these tables even though I hate these chairs. I, I really hate metal chairs with a passion because they're just too noisy and they're always uncomfortable. They just look pretty. I'll give it that. I am in love with this place. Not me spending another 640 rupees here because I am in love with this brand. You know what the most difficult part is in hospitality? To create consistency. Consistency in ambiance, consistency in the quality of food, consistency in the quality of drinks, consistency in your staff. There are very, very few places that get it right. And after having the first experience in Mumbai and now here, I decided to, you know what, buy the book and learn from somebody who actually really, really got it right because the ambiance is so beautiful here, the staff is so friendly and as I've been dreaming of that lemon tart for two years, ever since the pandemic started, I figured it's pretty much blasphemy to walk out of here and not have the lemon tart. So I'm having the lemon tart again, the Theobroma lemon tart after two years. If Nadine was here, my best friend who loves lemon tarts, she would be doing this. Mm, mm, mm. It is so freaking perfect, not eggy. The crust is not too hard, not too soft. It's just perfect. And the lemon tart is sour, not eggy. Again, I'm repeating myself because it's so hard to get that right. Most lemon tarts or any tarts with cream, they end up being so eggy and I absolutely despise that. Like when I taste that in a place, I'm just like, no, I'm sorry. You don't know how to bake. <laughs> this place gets it so right. Mm. Also, not me breaking my caffeine detox because I saw the cups here. Look at this. This is what I mean. This is like, how beautiful is this? And I literally, I think, just ordered the latte for the cups because it's so pretty. Again, reminds me of La Durée in Paris and I'm a huge fan of La Durée because they get even the smallest details perfect. And Theo Broma is, is really good. Like. I, I haven't tried them enough to say it's like La Durée level, but oh my gosh, I am extremely impressed and I'm like a hardcore fan girl. I ended up liking Theobroma so much that I decided to spend the rest of the afternoon here and get some work done. It's such a wonderful ambiance and I have actually been back a few times after shooting this video.
Welcome to Chai Point Cafe at Chimaya Hospital Road. I'm not even gonna lie, when I discovered this place, I have kept it a secret for at least six months because the aesthetics of this place are just so pretty. I love the fact that they have this whole outdoor area with power plugs, with very comfortable seats and large tables. Uh, some of the requirements that I have to work at a place. I've always been a fan of Chai Point there. Chai is the best, hands down. But then this cafe and the aesthetics of it, oh, it's just winning in life. I think it's better than Starbucks. I think it's better than Third Wave. Obviously, those are more coffee places. But if I'm looking at cafes, which are chains. I don't know why they don't have more of these because they're just so freaking pretty. I think the price point of Chai Point is freaking incredible. I paid 450 rupees for a large Adrak Chai. Normally this one would be, I think, 100 rupees, but it's a very, very large cup as you can see. And the chai is just absolutely top notch. These chai biscuits are how much? I think they're like 20 rupees or something. Yeah, 20 rupees. These are good. But if you find the uh, masala biscuits, take those. They are with jeera, which sounds very strange because it is cumin, but trust me, they are like so freaking good. I actually sometimes just order those on Swiggy because I freaking love the Chai Point masala biscuits. And then the reason why I paid 450 rupees is this massive box of the turmeric ginger cookies. They are delicious. And these are 325 rupees, which I think is okay. It's it's a quite a big, big bag of biscuits. So crazy value for money, amazing aesthetics. And I have gotten myself to share this place with you finally, <laughs> because it's already quite crowded, as you can see. And um, I, I just wanted to keep it for myself a little bit before sharing it with you. <laughs> Sometimes I do that and actually also to test out a place multiple times before I actually recommend it to you because sometimes when I go to a place the first time might be like oh and then when I come there the second time or the third time it's like eh, eh not sure if I want to recommend you that so actually you should keep in mind that some places I will go there a few times or like over a long period of time just to try out if the service is as good as I think it is in order to make sure that I have a good recommendation for you. So let's just keep it at that. That's why I kept it a secret. I just wanted to keep it for myself for a little bit, but don't hold it against me. I'm sharing it with you now, okay? <laughs> Obviously the chai is top notch. Like chai point again, oh my gosh, consistency. If they get anything right, they get consistency right because I don't think I have ever 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 had a bad cup of chai at chai point and that cannot be said for any other chai brand that i've tried on swiggy mm. Mm, mm, mm. i was actually having a caffeine free january but i'm happy to break it for Theo Broma and chai point because it's so freaking good the chai is just amazing mm. Let's have this biscuit. So this is the chai biscuit. These are also good. I like the consistency of these because they are they're crunchy, definitely. It's not one of those um, soft biscuits. But yeah, these also have a little cranberries. Wait, zooming in. Little cranberries and what else is in there? Something else is also in there. Oh, black currant and cranberry. So I'm guessing this is a black currant and then this might be a cranberry or something. Mm, mm, mm. And they actually have a fruity flavor, which is good. For 20 rupees, man, I think it's like hardcore worth it because it's like really good biscuits. Really like it. Mm. La 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 la. This packaging is resealable, as you can see. So that's why I don't mind buying it and just taking it home. I usually have two of these biscuits after my dinner as a dessert, because they're that good. Mm, okay, there you go. This is what they look like. Turmeric, ginger biscuits. Yeah, can you see that? There's actually like flaxseed in there. They're supposed to be healthy, but like I mentioned, they're not that healthy. Don't get caught up in it. <laughs> just enjoy them as a treat. I'm so happy to have chai again. I haven't had chai in three weeks, so. 
and actually <laughs> chai makes me high i know this sounds weird but i just get very 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 extremely happy whenever i drink chai so cheers <laughs> oh heaven man I'm seeing her after about two years now, but great to see you again. This is my Delhi brother who actually lives in Hong Kong. And it was the reason that I got to celebrate Diwali. Oh wow. While traveling in India for the first time. I celebrated Diwali with his parents. But he lives in Hong Kong. Bye. So we're just catching up after two years. It's been a while. And this is like the perfect place to catch up. One more place left to take you to and my oh my, it's a gem. Here we go. Welcome to Bola and Blonde, pretty much the most aesthetically pleasing restaurant I have seen in years. <laughs> I've seen my fair share of aesthetically pleasing restaurants, but oh my goodness, this peacock theme and how it is visible in the large decor, but also in the smallest of details, like for instance, the colors of the chairs or just the tables, the, the way they look from the top, it is so stunning on top of that their menu is extremely extensive it is classic and modern versions of indian food non-veg and vegetarian and as a vegetarian it makes me so happy whenever i see a lot of new vegetarian dishes that i haven't tried before so that's what i definitely saw on this menu in terms of prices i would say it is an in-betweener it is definitely not as expensive as regular five-star hotel restaurants but it is also not regular daba food truly a restaurant where you should come if you really want an aesthetically pleasing ambience but also some amazing food and the amazing food is something that i can't wait to try i'm going to start out with a bunch of starters so first the mushroom galauti then the chili cheese naan bomb like what i can't wait to try that and then we're going to finish this starter round yes there's a lot of food coming up with the goat cheese kebab so the mushroom galau tea i'm going to put some chutney on that some green chutney i'm guessing it's mint chutney and yeah. bon appetit mm -hmm. there's definitely a smokiness from the mushrooms coming through it's crunchy from the outside but then that there's something like mint in there as well and it tastes really really char grilled Oh, I love that. It's so hard to get that into vegetarian dishes. Love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Going in for the second starter, the goat cheese kebab. And that looks amazing. Very crunchy, tasty. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And then finally, of course, the chili cheese naan bomb. Like what? Ooh. Ooh. Can you see that cheese? I cannot wait to have this oh mm -mm -mm. good cheese also i love those starters my favorite by far was the mushroom galauti actually what also really surprised me was the amount of mocktails that they have on the menu and the diversity of the mocktails as somebody who doesn't drink much alcohol i will enjoy my alcohol don't get me wrong i will indulge in it but i don't always drink alcohol i really like to try out new mocktails and new varieties of drinks so over here, I have a very, very beautiful watermelon and thyme mocktail. So <laughs> let me go for that and see what it tastes like. 
it's almost like I'm drinking a watermelon lollipop in a drink and it's actually very satisfying. For the main course, I went for something that I haven't tried before, which is the Hori Paneer. Apparently, it's a little bit sweeter and anything paneer. I really, really love it. And then something that's very familiar, but I haven't had a good one in a long time. Veg biryani. No, it's not Pulau. People don't start with me. <laughs> so let me first take a bite of the veg biryani and have a big bite over here. Biryani man, so good. Portion size is also massive. This is definitely for at least two or three people, I would say. Now, I am going in for that Lahori paneer. I love that they literally had at least four paneer dishes on the menu that I hadn't even heard about before. And I'm very, very happy about that. Always happy to try new paneer dishes. So, Lahori paneer, huh? Mm. Soft, creamy, indulgent paneer. Mmm. The sauce is very mild actually. Wow. Really good. Mmm. 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 Yeah, the sauce is definitely a little bit sweeter, a little bit more fruity. Cheers, my friends. I'm already planning when to go back to Bola and Blonde because in my book it really has it all. Phenomenal decor like I haven't seen in years, stunning food that's not just tasty but extremely soul satisfying and of course wonderful staff. Now I am curious which of these three places did you like the most? And could you see a difference between my iPhone 13 Pro Max and a professional camera? Let me know down in the comments below. Also consider sharing this video with as many people as possible to show how Bangalore truly is the hipster capital of India and if you'd like to see more of such videos make sure to join more than 250,000 subscribers it's free and you'll get a notification whenever i upload a new video for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time